everyone wants to make money. Like, no, duh. But it can be difficult to figure out what to do to make some money, especially when you're young. Hence why I'm going to be going over five websites you can use to make over a 500 to 1,000 a month with ease. And at a bonus, for most of these, there are very, very little requirements. All right, so starting off strong, we have Fiverr and Upwork. These are some of the biggest freelance companies in the world. And what you do is very simple. You go on Fiverr or Upwork and advertise any sort of skill or ability, and people pay you commissions to do this ability. Usually it's stuff such as editing, graphic design, or marketing advice in some sort of way, but you can also pay to have Jesus sing to you, so you know, that's a unique skill I guess. But all you need to do is sign up, and if you're skilled at something, use that skill to your advantage and start making money from it. And with most of these websites, it spirals over time, so it starts slow, and snowballs to be a lot bigger. Fiverr and Upwork shine if you have previous experience doing something. Let's just say you took digital art classes and you're really good with Photoshop. There's a bunch of potential options for you on Fiverr. So just use your skills on Fiverr, and you can make some pretty nice extra cash. And maybe make it a full business. Who knows? As for tips to actually start up a Fiverr business, the one thing I would say, the more people who buy a product and give better reviews, the more money you're going to make and the more you can charge. But I mean, if you look on Fiverr under logo design, and this is most things, you can see that the things are recommended all have hundreds, if not thousands of views for them every single time. And some of the more expensive ones are going to have less reviews. But still, getting, the, getting this to a five star with lots of reviews helps boost your chances of getting picked and making more money. Next up, we're going to go take things to another website, but this one is a project or survey website. Respondent. Basically, you go sign up, fill out your name, fill out your info, and then you create a profile. In here, you provide details on what your interests are, what your skills, some of your background, some of that stuff. You also provide other information to respondents, such as your gender, ethnicity, and your background. This makes it so the researchers can identify their target market based off this information and get a more pinpointed data point for whatever it is they're trying to do. Once you sign up, it's just a waiting game. Eventually, researchers or companies will pick your profile to complete a project. This project could take anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour or more. But you also get paid a hefty amount of $15 to $150 per project. And most projects are either surveys or a conference call where you talk to the researchers about whatever it is. I mean, the surveys could be anything from providing a detailed information on whether or not you'd buy a new product, and then you respond with feedback on the product idea, helping certain companies figure out what search words you'd click on, some of that stuff. Overall, it's really not too bad. Even if you only get a few projects a month, it's easy extra money that goes directly into your PayPal and then your bank account if you so wish. Following Respondent, we're going to go to another survey website. This time, it's on your phone. This is Google Opinions. With Google Opinions, Google will give you a survey every so often about your past search history and other stuff, as if they don't track that already, but that's neither here nor there. But what is important is that you need to subscribe to me. Why? Because why not? And, you know, I gotta feed my family somehow. Feet Finder is my last resort, okay? But Google Opinions is pretty safe, and it's a very well-known company that actually pays out, and you can get it on your phone. Bonus, it takes maybe 15 seconds to answer the survey. Downside, you only get a survey every so often, and you get like 30 cents to $2 per survey. But it also takes no time whatsoever, so it's not that bad, I guess. I mean, like, I've had the app installed for a month or two, maybe done... 20 10 to 20 surveys i got like five bucks it's taking me no time i'll just be walking and filling out surveys but it's not a whole lot of money it also doesn't take much time to do either so consider it as an option but definitely not as good as this next survey website i go over so make sure to watch to the end okay we're going to take a break from survey websites and get to the most profitable website business ever social media slash youtube and I know, I know, it's so cliche, I'm sure you've heard this a million times. But seriously, social media is a crazy way to make money. So if you have an interest you wish to share with the world and an interest that other people may have, start creating content. Whether on TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram, just start creating. And it may be slow at first, but with skill and determination, you will grow and start racking in that dough. Although, I will say YouTube is probably the best to make money because of how much you get paid. It's actually insane. I mean, the top people are making millions a month from AdSense alone. 
And although you probably won't be the next Mr. Beast, an additional 100 to to $1,000 a month from social media is nothing to complain about. And for me personally, I'd be able to make a pretty good amount of money. I mean, 3 million views with $5.5 thousand dollars from a YouTube channel is not too bad. Granted, this is in an area where the CPM is pretty low. Like for my revenue, my RPM is generally one to two dollars, but still, five point five thousand dollars is not too bad from playing video games. I'll tell you that much. And finally, my personal favorite survey website, User Testing. This is one of the best survey websites out there, and they pay quite a lot more than Google Opinions. I'm talking four to one hundred and twenty dollars every survey you complete, depending on the length. First thing to do is sign in, connect your PayPal account and after being reviewed, start filling out surveys. Now you get a lot of surveys, but not all of them are right fit. So just fill out the screeners and you should be able to get one to four surveys done on a weekend day. So 40 to 60 bucks from an hour of work on surveys ain't too bad at all. You do need a microphone and potentially a camera to get paid for this, but it's not bad for the money you're actually getting paid. So this is my personal user testing and it's pretty good. I mean, as you can see, we have so much surveys and more are going to be flying in pretty often. I usually get surveyed for like 30 seconds to a minute. And we also see test history. I've made a pretty good amount. $100 from 12 total tests. So this took me in two-ish hours and I made 100 bucks. 50 bucks an hour, that's not too shabby. Most of these tests I did in the course of one to two weeks and I kind of stopped doing them since. In addition to that, if you want to get more tests, potentially increase your user rating. But it's a super good website I highly recommend you use. And there's an iOS or Android app for user testing. Now, I don't usually like to do the apps because I find they're a lot more buggy. But it's an option if you want to go check it out on the App Store. Alright, so that was five online websites you can use to make over $1,000 a month or more online. So if you guys enjoyed today's video and want to see more of this in the future, subscribe, like, go check out my other videos if they're up yet, and see you in the next one. Peace out.